Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. Ryan here, and this time we're going to tackle Quartzite. Obviously, this resource has been uh, one of the ones that's more sought after now with the Hot and Hazy update with the weapon upgrades. So we're going to cover the uh, best place to get it. Maybe not when you're just starting out. If you're just starting out and looking for Quartzite, I'd recommend um, Under the Oak Lab, the Red Ant Hill, um, the Mite Cave that's right uh, near one of the cables when you first start out. And just start going with those until you can get your weapons nice and upgraded. Um, and then we're going to head right over here into the haze area. So if you guys haven't turned off the gas yet, um, in one of my videos, I believe it's the haze lab video, I show you how to do that. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know how to do it, but if not, then check out that video. It's a lot easier to navigate this whole area when that gas is off. Um, so we'll show you where we're at here. Just, just a little east of the, uh, the sandbox, and you can see the... The rake right here, rake rock point right here. So we're just to the west of it. Hayes Lab is right over there. So there's two little areas down here in the haze that have a ton of quartzite. Now, obviously, you're going to have to worry about the uh, infected larva, and there's some infected gnats and weevils and all that kind of stuff, too. So the best weapon to uh, attack them with is anything that's um, got some fresh damage applied to it. Because everything in the haze is weak to fresh, so let's see real quick. There's one little guy right over here. You can see this guy. Let me go ahead and swap these out. Uh, that's fine. We've covered the spicy shards. We've covered the uh, salt. And obviously quartzite's one of the ones that you're going to need to get uh, get your weapon upgraded before you go down that salty, spicy, or minty uh, route. Yeah. So you see over here, look at this. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 12 in this hole alone. So let me harvest these real quick. I think they said you're looking at anywhere from 4 to 11 pieces per, uh, per resource node. So you have the option, or you have the chance to get like 100 and... Uh, what, 110 quartzite just from here? And I'm already filling up. So this is going to be your honey hole right here for quartzite. And again, every three days or so, it'll respawn. So if you can deal with the infected, then uh, you're going to be set with quartzite right here. So, all right, we're going to get out of here and just jump right over to the next one. I think it's got about four or five quartzite nodes. So you're looking at uh, about 15 to 20 Quartzite nodes just right in this area. And you can see we just go around the rock over here. This is where we want to go. There we go, down on this one. Again, these areas are going to be uh, running rampant with infected larvae. Maybe some gnats, weevils, um, mites as well. You take them all out and take out the uh, exploding fungus as well. Have yourself a nice bit of uh, quartzite down here. So there's four more right here. So a really easy way if you're looking to uh, make multiples of each weapon. So you have like a fresh one, a salty one, a spicy one, and a mighty one. And you want to get your weapons upgraded quick to level five, then hit those two spots right there. So we had one about right here, and then one just a little bit north of it right there. And that's 15, about 17 uh, quartzite nodes right there. So really useful. Again, check every three or four days, and you can come harvest these uh, to your heart's desire until you have all your weapons upgraded to max to annihilate the backyard. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All of that good stuff that I'm always asking. And we will see you guys in the next video. Stay original, my friends. Later.